Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Check Me. We're going to talk about uh, what I think most of us seen, if if you actually know the ins and outs of the game. Um, we saw pretty much, and we've seen for the past couple of weeks, ever since A.J. Brown whined about not getting the ball, pretty much Jim Hurts and the offense force-feeding him the ball. Um, now, um, I do think it's good to get your, your good players involved early so they don't, get, they don't get bored of the game. That tends to happen to some guys. They get lost in the game. Uh, but we, we have a balanced offense, and we have to play it honest as far as the defense gets uh, gives it to us. If not, there's certain things we can kind of cue in, cue in on, and uh, teams can cue in on and see our tendencies if we're trying to force feed particular players. Um, but um, I do like the, the – we did kind of put a focus on Dallas Goddard. Uh, I mentioned that when Quez Watkins getting back, allows us to spread the offense out a little bit. But let's take a look at some film of how it's affecting Devontae Smith, and it's affecting Devontae Smith – uh, in a bad way. We all, we all know pretty much it's his contract year. It's his third year on his rookie contract. Um, so you don't want to go into your last year uh, your, of your rookie contract without a deal. So this is a big audition year for him. I don't think there's any type of motive for that. But he's a he's. I think he's our number. I personally say he's our number one receiver. And we have to figure out ways to get him the ball consistently. Consistently. But let's dive into the film. So the, the first thing that we see Devontae Smith do is essentially start running and uh, start running and doing dummy routes, uh, routes that really don't matter, just running people, running people off, running people off. We call them gassers. You're pretty much on the field running gassers. You're running the ball deep. The plays aren't designed for you, um, and it can get it can get kind of condescending, but also uh, uh, kind of kind of disrespectful at a certain point. He's been doing a lot of that since uh, this year. On well, next play. Once again, Devontae Smith is virtually, for his route, one-on-one -on -one backside. That high safety is going deep as deep. I'm going backside to Smitty right here because depending on how they're playing their coverage, whether it's quarters or, or you know, uh, whether it's quarters or cover three, they ran to cover three, I know Devontae Smith in this comeback route, this, thick, this, deep, this deep hitch route, he's wide open. So I'm going to Smitty here. Instead, he goes to A.J. Brown and shortchanges the ball. When there's a player who can actually essentially make a, make a play on the ball, um, I think you know we're, we're not looking at Devontae Smith, and if you look at Jalen Hurts' eyes, um, his eyes never go off of AJ Brown. Um, they never go off AJ Brown. He doesn't look backside. Doesn't look backside at all. Um, doesn't really even take a peek to see what he has backside because that may be be, uh, be a big option. You know, being an X receiver, you're gonna get a lot of man coverage, and if you have a good X receiver, you know you go to him just like Lockett, T Higgins. Um, you know some of these other guys, some of these other guys in the league, you go them because they're they're gonna have to be man coverage backside or whatever the coverage is. He's gonna, they're gonna be one guy back there, and you expect them to make a move, especially when it's not a deep route. So Jalen Hurts has to be better on that front. Uh, this next play, you have a drag route. I think it's second or second or third down. You know, throw the ball to Devontae, Devontae Smith. Let him get to the sticks and get a first down. He's wide open. If you see and look at this. The safety can help with A.J. Brown over top. A.J. Brown's even, right? But there's a safety that can, that's in position or could be in position to make a play on the ball. Go to AJ, go, go to Devontae Smith right now. That linebacker is not going to make a play on him. That DB's back turn, Goddard, Goddard's uh, a man on. They have a high safety. Go straight. Give it to Devontae Smith. Let him run up the field. This could be a big play. But once again, Jalen Hurts' eyes are on are on. First, A.J. Brown to see if he's open, and then he comes and misses his progression with the drag across the field. Good death by Devontae Smith, not getting too deep, but this is a play that should really go Devontae Smith, and this would be an automatic first down. Instead, we get an incomplete pass to Quez Watkins because he held on the ball too long and didn't go immediately to Devontae Smith. Once again, where do his eyes go? His eyes aren't following Devontae Smith. He overlooks him and goes straight to Quez. I would have went to Devontae Smith right now, so I see why frustration is growing. This is the one that set it off right here. This is the one that set it off, the interception. We remind this play, it's Devontae Smith, pretty much, once again, he's an X receiver. He's wide open backside. But he's focused on A.J. Brown, who the DB's in good position. Those are, those are bad, pretty much a bad pass. Well, he couldn't throw anywhere because they were, they were pretty much blanketed the whole time. But if you look at the front side, he calls an audible, right? He calls an audible pretty much a, a man beater, right? If he sees man coverage, he'll say they'll have a pretty much audible to a man beater. And instead of him going to Devontae Smith backside or even holding the safety and then throwing it backside, typically when you do that, you hold the safety. You hold and the the, the run motion is gonna hold the backers. The overlooking the top uh, uh, with the safety is gonna hold the safeties in the position so you can go backside or elsewhere. 
But uh, this is one thing, one one thing that we personally see where Jalen Hurts is force feeding AJ Brown the ball, and it's hurting our offense. And you can say, hey, we're winning games, whatnot. We had, a, we had some guys step up, but good teams are going to cue on this. We have the Dolphins, the 49ers, the Chiefs, and and Dallas coming up next. These good teams are going to catch up on this and say, you know what? If he's going to AJ Brown every time, let's send a pass rush. Let's have some. Let's have a pass rush. One person over top because a because Jalen Hurts is not looking all the way across the field. Um, if Jalen Hurts wants to be a better quarterback, he has to not let his best friend get in his head. AJ Brown typically does pout whenever he does, whenever he does not get his way, have a big big game. So we saw it last year in the playoffs. He was upset. Um, we see it this year. He put that ego aside, AJ Brown. I say this over and over again. And Jalen Hurts, you have to admit and have to be a better passer and better uh, to, through everybody and scan the whole field as opposed to just staring down key guys. You know, you, you're not a quarterback who, who just need to stare down a guy and throw it to him, right? Scan the whole field if you want to start advancing and leveling your play to one to the elite quarterback. And we we talk about elite quarterback play. It's not just okay, coach says throw it here, I'm gonna throw it here, or I'm gonna throw it to my guy. It's throwing to everybody, throwing to everybody, and making the defense play honest across the board. So I can go back, I can go back to film to last year where we've been force feeding AJ the Brown, AJ Brown the ball, and and Devontae Smith with the limited targets that he has. Devontae Smith last year and this year typically has limited targets, but has more receptions as well as just as much yards, not as much touchdowns as we go to AJ Brown there in, uh, and pretty much in the red zone, but just as just as many yards as AJ Brown, and he's our, I believe personally our number one guy. You guys may not agree with it, I understand. I think he's our number one guy. If I break down the film, you'll see how AJ Brown is typically most of the time open. AJ Brown, he's not necessarily doesn't get necessarily open as much as uh, as Devontae Smith, but. Our focal point should simply be on spreading the ball out evenly to whoever's open at any given time and not queuing in on one guy at a certain time because teams can't play us that way.